Well, welcome to this ValueMed video presentation which will show you the Mission URS 10U. This video will also cover the Mission URS 8 product. Uh, it's identical with the uh, exception that it does not contain tests for Eurobilinogen and bilinogen. Now when you order a pack of Mission URS 10Us, they will come packed in the standard Mission carton box. On the side will be the parameter included in the 10U, which are leukocytes, nitrites, urobilinogen protein, pH, blood, specific gravity, ketones, bilirubin and glucose. The expiry date will be listed on the side of the pack together with the batch number. Inside that box will be a vial. This is an example vial. This one has been opened, so we can remove the strips to demonstrate them, but this seal will be completely sealed and adherent and will have to be forced. You should not be able to oyster it away by lifting it. You have to break through. Inside there is also a pouch of desiccant. It's very important that this desiccant remains inside the vial at all times and that the lid is placed right back and tightly secured each time a test strip is removed. Inside that vial, you will also have 100 of these individual 10 pad test strips. Now, the 10 pads correspond to the 10 parameters. They're in this order and an all negative result is given when the pad colors after dipping in urine correspond with this left hand column of all negative results. If the pad color varies, then you go along the row to match it to the closest matching color change on the pad and underneath that will be the level of your result for that parameter. The read times vary between 30 seconds for glucose, 60 seconds for the majority and 120 seconds for the leukocyte. So a test once this is dipped in urine will take you between 30 seconds and two minutes to interpret all 10 individual results. Now, the test procedure is very simple. Open the pot, remove a test strip, dip the test strip into urine, tap the urine test strip against the side of the vial containing the urine to remove any excess urine. So that, that removes the risk of any leaching of dye across these pads. And then you start interpreting the results by matching the color pads on the wet test strip against the results interpretation pad on the side of the urine pot. When you've completed the test, the urine test strip can be disposed of. They can be used only once. You have 100 of these. Once the vial seal is open, even if you have a long expiry date on these tests, it's critical that you maintain that the, the pouch of desiccant in the test strip pack and that you replace the lid tightly after every test strip is removed. The manufacturer's guarantee is that they should continue to per, uh, work for three months after the seal is broken. If you intend to use the test strips beyond this time, or you're a very infrequent tester, then it is absolutely critical that no moisture is allowed to enter into the, the remaining test strips to extend their usable life. But if when you remove one of these test strips, it's beyond three months since it's been opened and moisture has got in, then you should see that the color on the pads is altering and the test pads most likely to deteriorate from moisture contamination are the leukocytes and the protein and blood parameters. If you see discoloration on these test strips, it's time to replace the test strips. I'm afraid they cannot be used once they are damaged by moisture. So that is the Mission URS 10s. As I say, this video advice also carries for the Mission URS 8 product range. I hope you found this useful. If there are any questions, please pop them in the comments and we'll try and get some answers online for you. Thanks for watching.